You've made it this far, so your Swift learning really is starting to come together, and I hope this project has shown you you can make some pretty advanced things with your knowledge. In this project, you learn a little bit more about table views, how to reload their data, and how to insert rows. You also learned how to add text fields to UI Alert Controller so you can accept user input. But you also learned some serious core stuff, more about Swift strings and closures, plus NS range and more. These are things you're going to be using in dozens of projects over your Swift coding career, and things will be returning to you again and again in this series. Now remember, anyone can sit through a tutorial, but it takes actual work to remember what was taught. It's my job to make sure you take as much from these tutorials as possible. I've prepared another short review to help you check your learning. You can find a link to this on the main Hacking with Swift review page. Once again, it's time for your challenge. One of the best ways to learn is to write your own code as often as possible. So here are three ways you should try building on this app to make sure you fully understand what's going on. First, disallow answers that are shorter than three letters or are just a start word. For the three letter check, the easiest thing to do is put a check into is real that returns false if the word length is under three letters. For the second part, just compare the start word against the input word and return false if they're the same. Second, refactor all the else statements we just added so they call a new method called show error message. This should accept an error message and a title and do all the UI alert controller work from there. And third, add a left bar button item that calls start game so users can restart with a new word whenever they want to. As a bonus, once you've done those first three, there's a really subtle bug in our game and I'd like you to try finding it and fixing it. To trigger the bug, Look for a three letter word in your starting word and enter it with an uppercase letter. Once it appears in the table, try enter it again with all lowercase letters and you'll see it still gets entered. Can you figure out what causes this and how to fix it?